Hey guys, John Santos here, and in today's video, we're going to cover the options that you have so you can start processing transactions in person and get paid. So when you're launching your brand and collecting payments, it's pretty much historically been that people are paying you with cash or whatever it may be, but now more than ever, people are wanting to pay with cards. So if you've been looking and maybe you have accounts with your bank, they're gonna offer you their platform and their system and they're gonna preach it like it's gonna be the shit and it's gonna solve your problems. Banks offer a pretty good system if you're really funneling a lot of money and services through them. Uh, but for the most part, they're not really set up for the startup businesses and the apparel industry. Now the reason I say that is because banks, they cover a wide variety of things and they try to like customize their wide variety of shit to your needs. So in this case, if you're really wanting to start your apparel brand, they're not necessarily going to have the option for a startup person selling out of their trunk, selling at events. They do have some like POS mobile options, but they're really not that good. So overall, you can decide to go with your bank, but just be aware that it's not the best option uh, for somebody that's just starting up. They have monthly fees, they have processing fees, and overall, they're not really providing that much assistance to you. So the first processor we're going to cover is Square. Now Square is literally just a little block here. This was the first one that they came out with back in like 2008, 2009. And honestly, they really changed the game as far as how mobile processing really should be. So up till then, there was, you know, they had to integrate it with a POS system, meaning that you had to have some sort of retail connection to get your transactions through. Um, and if you were selling online, then you had a separate system to process your orders there. So Square really came through and created a really easy plug and play system where you literally just downloaded the app to your iPhone, Android, whatever you had, and you plug this shit in up into your headphone port and you were easily able to start accepting payments. Like it was super simple to get set up with it, stupid easy to like upload your products, upload your price points, connected to your bank. It got you paid and overall like they made it they made everything very simple. They had a flat fee, so it was a 2.75% and then a couple cents per transaction. So it was very easy for businesses to just jump on. Now unfortunately, they did have really bad customer service or close to zero in customer service, meaning that if you had any issues, you couldn't get on the phone, you could hardly reach them online and you were pretty much screwed until they contacted you. That's about the only downside to Square is that you're not going to get customer service. They aren't really going to help you get set up on anything, but they do have a lot of FAQs and they do have a lot of tutorials on how to use their platform. And overall, honestly, if you're wanting to start, Square is going to be one of the easiest way for you to get your brand out, get it sold, get it processed and get money in your bank. Um, they're by, by far the best, the quickest. I've set up multiple businesses with it. Uh, sometimes like within the few hours that we're going to something pretty big or that we're launching something and somebody's like, shit, I forgot to register us for blah, blah, blah system that was going to process, like literally download the app and like get registered online up and running in like a few minutes time. So Square has made it super simple for anybody to process sales. So there is no reason why customers can't tell you, you know, oh, I only, I don't have any cash. You know, you could say, hey, it's cool. I got a fucking square reader, you know, so it's going to, it's going to come in handy. Um, if you are looking for processing and you don't want any fees, they don't off, they don't have any like setup fees. They don't have any kind of like uh, back end fees for you to get registered. Everything's free. You can order your card reader ahead of time. So just go onto the squareup.com website, uh, submit your information and they'll actually ship one for free. And then I think they still have the rebate program. So if like, you want to go and buy one in store, then they'll rebate you the money that you spent to get it. So they're making it super easy for you to get on their platform. Of course, there's a pro and con to everything. Square makes it super easy to set up and super easy for you to start processing. But at the same time, if you're handling large volume, they will hold your funds a little longer than normal. And if anything is suspicious, they will possibly prevent you from getting your money. So that can potentially be a barrier to it, but for the most part, as long as you're legitimate and you're not scamming people, they will get your money to you, but they may hold it for a little while. Another option that you have to process payments is PayPal. 
So PayPal came out in response to Square's success, like literally Square just like was going viral and shit. Everybody was using it, you know, Starbucks started using it, all these like chains and services and people that were selling you shit, everybody had the Square, it was sleek, unique, and it was a, it was a Square and it was white, so it looked pretty aesthetic. And then PayPal came out, they came out with their card reader, and they came out with a triangle, and they said, okay, well Square is launching a Square, we're gonna come out with a fucking triangle and uh, honestly this triangle looks a lot better um, I had the blue one and it was like a big clunky blue one so they finally upgraded it it used to fit over your phone like pretty ugly so for the most part PayPal didn't really do too much design research into how they should aesthetically please the users and maybe that's the reason that they didn't pick up as fast as Square did but they're still a, pr a really big uh, mobile card processor and online payment processor so if you had an option between Square and PayPal they are overall they're pretty similar um, I personally have only used it a few times for PayPal um, I like Square's reporting system very easy to use with charts graphs breaks down of your product you could easily upload your product and stuff like onto it set price points uh, PayPal is a little different but for the most part if you are processing your website payments through PayPal it would be smart to integrate mobile payments through PayPal as well that way you're able to keep everything under one account everything goes to the bank and you don't have to look through different reports to like at the end of tax season or anything like that so overall PayPal and Square are pretty similar the only thing about PayPal is that they were a reaction to Square success so in my opinion Square still has a simpler easier to use platform than PayPal does because PayPal has all these different services and I love PayPal I've been using them from like since day one to process personal payments to myself for services or whatever it may be so PayPal is very cool but for the mobile payments if you're not using it for an online store to process your other transactions it's it's up to you to, uh, as to what you want to use I'd give them both a try you could also download the app and then request a card reader and they'll send it to you so honestly, just give it a try, but for the most part, reviews online and everybody else that's reviewed the two platforms, they pretty much call it a tie because PayPal went and reacted to Square success, so they almost offered everything the same. So you have Square, PayPal, and what's the third one? The third one I'll recommend is Shopify. So if you watch my online video as far as what websites to use, you know that I did preach about Shopify and how easy it was to integrate an online store onto Shopify. And what's really cool about them is that they also offer mobile processing. So if you have an online store and if you're already accepting transactions through Shopify, the mobile app will allow you to uh, manage your customers, manage your inventory, everything through Shopify. So that means that you don't have to integrate other aspects and you don't have to like try to figure out what you sold at an event and then what's available for your website. Shopify literally reduces like that barrier. You only have to count inventory at one location and if you're moving it if you're selling it everything is really simple through shopify payments tax season when you have to report your sales tax or at the end of the season you have your reports all under one and you don't have to go and looking through excel sheets and shit and sending it to your accountant so overall shopify is a really good platform if you aren't getting a website through shopify but you do want to sell you have the option of square and paypal and you always have the option of a third party such as your bank and all these others that come out but for the most part when it comes to mobile processing like customers want to know that you're not scamming them so a brand name really does help when you're at events and when you're trying to sell somebody something um, because if you have like some random third party uh, reader that doesn't look like something that people have seen they're a little weary about where that's going especially with the credit card scamming and skimming that's always a potential barrier to close a sale but for the most part having something is better than nothing because you always have a chance to close the sale they don't have cash they have card you can accept it, you're good to go. It's important to note that for every cash transaction that you are accepting as well, is that you're able to note down what you're selling and, and uh, that way you're keeping records of every transaction. Um, instead of trying to keep like a physical receipt book where you're like, okay, I sold this, I sold that. Um, you literally, you have to be able to punch it on your phone so then that way it organizes your, your sales, it organizes everything that you're gonna need. And then that way you know exactly what you sold, what's, what's remaining, and all of that. So always be sure to process your cash transaction the same way you would process a card, but obviously through the cash side. So there you have it. A quick and short recap as to what options you have to sell in person. There should be no reason or excuses why somebody can't buy your product. There you're able to accept card, 
We just went over the options for Square, Shopify, PayPal, and overall, it's going to be a decision that you'll have to make, but I hope this video helped. If it did, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with somebody that it will help. Comment down below with any suggestions or your experience with using any of these platforms, and we'll talk again soon. Bye.